It's therefore with great hope that I declare COVID-19 over as a global health emergency. A series of powerful successive earthquakes struck the Turkish Syrian. In 2,400 people were killed in earthquakes in Afghanistan. Obliterated by some of the worst earthquakes. Devastating earthquake in northwest Syria. Tropical cyclone Freddy has become the longest live named tropical cyclone ever. Well, August 2023 is the hottest August ever recorded. New York tops the list of cities with the worst air quality in the world. The most deadly wildfire in modern history history tore through the town of Lahaina on the Hawaiian island of Maui. A tsunami-like river of floodwater swept in Libya after two dams burst. The number of people who died could reach as many as 20,000. Before talking any further, I would request the African Union head to take its seat as a permanent G20 member. Sam Altman is out. Altman will join Microsoft as the head of a new AI research division. Sam Altman will now officially return as CEO of OpenAI. Hindenburg Research made startling allegations of fraud against the Adani Group. His companies have lost more than $100 billion in market value. Silicon Valley Bank was the 16th largest bank in the U.S. It took just a day and a half for it to fall apart. This is the second biggest bank failure that's ever happened in the United States. The U.S. Defense Department is monitoring a suspected Chinese spy balloon floating over the country. Oh my God. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has convened an emergency meeting. A massive train accident occurred in the eastern Indian state of Odisha last night. The incident involved multiple trains two passenger trains and one freight train. 50 train cars carrying toxic chemicals derailed from tracks in Ohio. Finally tonight, the remarkable rescue of more than 40 construction workers trapped for weeks in a tunnel following a landslide. The Coast Guard confirming wreckage found near the Titanic indicates the five people on board the Titan sub perished when the tourist vessel suffered a catastrophic implosion. India has become the first nation in the world to land on the South Pole of the Moon. India is on the moon. The world's biggest rocket has failed a few minutes after takeoff. The flight lasted only about eight minutes. That's twice as long as the first test in April, which also ended with an explosion. Explosions shook Nagorno-Karabakh. It's a mountainous region between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Nearly all the estimated ethnic Armenians living there have now fled to Armenia. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has addressed the nation after Wagner mercenary forces claimed control of military sites in Rostov-on-Don. Russia's military leadership is accusing Prigozhin of carrying out an armed mutiny. Wagner chief Yevgeny Prigozhin was killed after his private plane went down north of Moscow. More harrowing stories of how people were killed in the Hamas attacks are still emerging. Israel was attacked in an absolutely horrific way by Hamas. While back in Washington, D.C., U.S. President Joe Biden was heckled by a pro-Palestinian protester. Take a look. Oh, look. Can't hear her. What's she saying? Iran is set to join the Shanghai Cooperation Organization today. Scientists have grown something that closely resembles an early human embryo without using sperm, eggs, or a womb. And now King Charles's crowning moment, the first of two crowns to be placed upon his head. Virat Kohli has become the first cricketer in history to score 50 one-day centuries. Spain have been crowned women's football world champions. South Africa have beaten New Zealand 12 points to 11 to become world champions for a record fourth time. It's Australia has won the Cricket World Cup. Australia has defeated India in India. RRR. Natu Natu has made it to the Oscars. R R R. The Nobel Peace Prize for 2023 to Nargis Mohammadi. <laughs>